Greetings and welcome to the finale of Panzermato Tape Dating Simulator. Sorry for cutting it off short last episode. I hope you enjoyed the outro. Uh, had a little fun with it. Let's get into the final episode full of plot twists, teen angst, and just downright skull drudgery. So, Tiger, what's the festival theme? Well, we're going to do an NLC theme. We did have the funding. I'm sure the guy would be willing to spot us the money. <laughs> oh, he doesn't need to. I just have a better theme. Liebenstraum. Liebenstraum. It'd be super, super romantic. Tons of flowers and chocolates. And even a fireworks show over Warsaw. Poland. Oh, come on. You can't use that name. What? That's totally, you know what? It's not worth it. Go ahead. Just, no, well, no, I should have seen this time. The problem, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's skip on my head. Maybe. Oh, I'm so excited. I should decide who I want to ask about the festival soon. You don't see that a lot to be much room for old girls. That's the last thing you want to do. Back at your apartment. Please say everyone's looking forward to this festival. It's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? You're waiting till night. Well, they're all a bunch of. It's basically a girls' school. But still, who's going to be my date to the festival? More importantly, who will say yes? Huh. Definitely asking her. <laughs> Is there really a choice on that option? Da, 254 reporting. Hey, 254. Oh, hey, Ruin. Why are you calling? Well, the uh, festival's tomorrow night. Common knowledge. And I was wondering, would you like to go out with me? Ask my date. As the girl who holds my hand and then kisses me at the end of the night, because we've been trying to get kissing several times now and been interrupted by people. Okay, I'd love to. What time will you be there? Around 8.45. Is that good for you? Carolyn? Yes. Thanks for asking me. I look forward to seeing you. Yes! 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 Oh. I'll meet you there. Good night, everyone. Night! That morning of the festival. Ah, <sighs> so fun. All right, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. And maggots are freaking it all up. What the hell? Do I not merit a good morning recruit? Do I not merit a salute? Fuck. You don't say Sarge. And at least you can salute and not say Sarge, but salute. It's like my chickens are... <laughs> I'm headed up here with your insubordination. Die for an NJP. Fuck me. You're not introduced to Bloodfoot, shall be? KP? Get your boys. Not as bad as it could have been. I see that look in your face. You think you're getting off easy? Oh, Gunny Harmon. He is a big old <laughs> You'll be peanut potatoes from dawn. Dusk to dawn. You will wash them. You will dry them by the end of the day. You either want to see another potato again. You either never want to see another potato again, or I'll be officiating your wedding to a spud. I love spuds. I want one to hold it close and tight. Give it a good scrub. Anyway, this is Mr. Recruit. God dang it. Get out of my sight. God, it sucks. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> what is this picture? What is this picture? Is this me? Seriously. After several hours, that's a pile of potatoes still looms over you. As you sit on a standard issue, kitchen stool. This damn stool is too short. 
I don't like this uneven. This is worse than the potatoes. It still squeaks. I'm willing to bet large amounts of money that the guy sawed one of the legs on the stool short for this very purpose. Squeak. I've never seen. I've never been so uncomfortable. And I was run over by a tank. Who asked you? And now, talk to the stool. Great. Wonderful. The stool is silent. Oh, now you don't want to talk. I just said, called you out. Now you don't want to talk to me back. Well, fine. I don't want to talk to you either. I don't say, huh? Well, I just, yeah. I just, I just did that. Eh. Need to cop him. <laughs> He's exasperated. Suddenly, from the hallway. Erwin! Uh, hi? Who? T-34 bursts into the room. Erwin, you! You! You Siaka! Huh? It's bad enough that you... I can explain... Shut up, good luck! It's bad that you... She just closer to me. Uh, hi. Wait, T-34, hi! You stood me up! Okay, seriously, dude. You can you have her number. You have a cell phone from our call. You couldn't have told her, hey, I'm screwed. And I thought I messed up at, on our date. You messed up royally. You stood me up. You're a traitor. And traitors will be shot. I I I spent hours getting ready for you. I didn't have to, I didn't need to, but I wanted to. I was excited to go. It was my first my first festival with the boy. And and you weren't there. T34, it's not my fault. It is your fault. You didn't tell her that you're screwed. Oh, you were just following words, huh? Don't believe you. Believe the higher ups, right? What are you? German? Well, yes. Or French. I don't know. Explain yourself now. Gunny and JP'd me. It was this or mopping up the rain. No. And JP blot? Uh Non judicial punishment, snacks like bullshit like cutting potatoes or other manual labor. Oh, he knew it was a festival night and he knew I was going to go. But he didn't even let me know. I was still there waiting for you, you kulak. I didn't have a chance. I've been here all night with these potatoes and this kind of stool. Stool? Yeah, I keep squeaking at me. The stool is once again silent. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. It's been greasing, so. Now you, now you look like a squeaky wheel. Question is, will you get your grease? Oh, sign now, are we? See, see, I told you. Actually, that was Sherman. Uh, yeah, she came on leg on a still short to trouble the cutting kind of sergeant. That's not even funny. It's very American. Don't I can... <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, wow. Oh wow, come on. We don't, we, come on, we don't cut it short, we chop it off. Ugh. That's totally something she would do. I was really looking forward to the festival though. And as you see, I was, gosh, so I meant it. I know, I was too. I'm sorry for standing up. Yet, yet. I was muscle wrong. I got mad at you without acquiring all the facts. I'm not cut out for the KGB. No, you were right to be a little angry. I did kind of desert you out there. I left you all alone with no bullets. I ran off to say, I'll bring you back to the ammo. I'll bring you back the grenades. And I just never came back. And he's like, where is he? I need him. Anyway. Ah, we all screwed up here and there. Yeah, still. The sergeant is a... We're going to pick the tail. I have no idea what that means. So, uh, what? A traitor. Ah, I can't really disagree. Either way, you should go home though. I'm gonna be here a while. Screw you, Stool. Nobody likes you. You know, I can help you with that. Chopping potatoes is like getting information out of spies. <laughs> no. Oh no. Should I just go with IS2? Should I just go on the crazy train and say, yeah, IS2, I'll go out with you. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
Oh no, no. You really don't have to. You, you should, should enjoy the festival. Don't worry about it. Working together is a sorry way to Vladis. She grabs potatoes and starts slicing. But you don't have potatoes in Russia. Some time passes and a happy silence is deep before we make short work of the potatoes while you toil away on the same one that you were on when she came in. Still is pleasantly silent. <clears> oh, <throat> did, huh? <laughs> you know me very well. I prefer peanut potatoes in a dry, depressing kitchen. But vastly more than festivals with cute boys and friends. And kvass, vodka, and Putin. Seriously, you're the best for helping me with this. I would have been here all night. Don't mention it, but you'll be a real date. I'm making you read some marks. <laughs> okay. Well, that's Stalin. <laughs> When are you thinking for the date, I mean? Well, even with my incredible skills as a potato peeler, the festival is basically over by now. Right. And you have your own place, right? Right. Well, we need a place to wash off the potato smell, and it would please me greatly to spend the night together. You know, I don't shower back at my place. You can wash off that old oh, potato over there. And hot water never runs out. Oh, good. I've been feeling very dirty. Small problem though. Uh, what's that? I'm used to communal showers, spreading the water amongst the people. <laughs> okay, so we were already going down the path that was very recognizable. Let's just. Taking it to overdrive with the adrenaline shot here. <laughs> oh, and we don't want to be wasting water taking separate showers. Uh, I mean, it's not like I want to take a shower with you or anything. Shaka. Baka. Well, we've been through a. We've both been through a. Rasputitsa. Right back at your apartment. Yeah, I did. Here we are. It's not much, but it's all. It's nice. A little Spartan, but that's how I like how I keep my place too. Ah, right. Communist. Because that's exactly what Spartans were. Erwin. Sorry for being abrasive towards you when you first got here. I didn't understand why you were here. It's weird, you know. I kind of thought you were a pervert, but now that we've been together for a bit. What an idea that said, oh yeah, I'm a pervert, oh, yeah, off the wall. What? What told you that I was a pervert? Uh, I got ran over by a tank, shot by a tank, by a tank. The only thing I did wrong is I said you were too hot. I mean, that's the only thing you could have said, oh, that's perverted. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? You're a pretty good man, and hopefully a decent taker. Thanks, Tinder Ford. That means a lot to me. One more thing. Hmm. Did you know that during the Great Patriotic War, when we were outgunned by Pashas, it was a common tactic to simply drive as fast as we could at them? I didn't know that. I ran them. Oh! Well. Speed and weight does crazy things. Ram hard. I want to be fascist tonight. Oh no. Why did I do this again? Why? Oh, why did I do this one? <laughs> Suppose you go to the bed with her. Hello? Thank you for the YouTube. This is covered, right? So far. Hey, open up in there. Uh. Grandma Lamar, open up! Oh, I will open it for you! Uh, who is it? Let's replace Mr. Lamar, open up! Hell, I've been told I never after the hot springs. What do you want with me? One second. Now, Mr. Lamar. Shit. 
Kevin Smiles, can put us with clothing, put on your uniform, you're being court martialed. For what? Desertion. Mouth closed door, we're breaking down. What? Are you telling me I wasn't belonging here in the first place? Sir, I was still naked. Put on that uniform, you have two minutes. So, uh, military police officers brought you to the court room. Your hands shackled together. As you walk down the aisle to your chair, you can see the tape girls all sitting together. For their head, there are officers of various ranks, and at the end of the room sit the tribunal of judges. The FP sits you down and shackles to your chair. That's a little harsh. Petchin, now that the guilty party I'm um, really accused here. Well, that's not railroaded, is here. We can begin the trial. This accused have a lawyer. I got here. I don't know what's going on. That's a problem. The court will appoint you a lawyer. Bring the lawyer in. Door opens at the back of the room, but the hack does prevent you from turning to see who it is. A few months later, your son was behind you. Don't worry, Raku. I'll get you out of this. I wonder how much he's going to get me out of this. I really did. Gunny! Gary Sergeant Hartman sits down next to you, and you notice he has lieutenant rank insignia. She's trying to pull a fast one. What the hell, sir? Now, Raku. Don't you serve me, I'll out. Wait, promotion, right, carry on. Lieutenant Hartman? What? How did he get promoted? When? At the at the ball? Oh god, no, this is bad. Please, for the love of god, you just say you are but It's my first case. It's the fuck who is on you. I'm screwed. Don't worry, I have a witness who will speak on your behalf. Who? Well, the court allowed me to call my first witness. Right, right. Get on with this so we can get to the sense. Railroaded. I call my first witness, recruit Sherman. I asked if I... She walks up to the stand. Of course, she reaches down to the harmony that's over with Mr. Stewart. Deny everything, Sherman. Aye, right, sir. She takes your place at the stand. I am. The defense will now interview the witness. You are recruit Sherman, then. No! Uh, this, uh, get out your pens and paper, paper, people. This is how you make a defense. Err, uh, but you are assuming the, the class was recruiting the more, are you not? I am not! Oh, God. Come on, Sherman. If you more helpful, it's me. No, it isn't! You're right, he, he's supposed to be a gunner, sergeant. He's not a lieutenant. I'm not proud of this. Throw her out. She's only about a child. No, I'm not. This <laughs> is What is this? Oh my gosh. The most police escort Sherman out of the room while the lieutenant continues to prevent, present, prevent, present his evidence, preventing my release. Yeah, I'm out to call the accused to stand. Me, Gunny, what the heck? Make it quick. You guys get to the sentencing still. That doesn't bode well. You sit at the stand while Gunny hastily prepares some notes for himself. You are a good Lamar, are you not? He asks as he walks up to the stand. I am, sir. And you attend take school in Akihabara. I Sarge. And you consider yourself to be quite smart, I assume. Well, I guess. Your Honor, what do you call a recruit with an IQ of over 160? Some of the audience shouts out, A platoon! Wait. Whoa, what? So, what? A platoon? <laughs> I'm not proud of this. No more questioning. What, sir? I was. And I've already read your closing statement. Yes, sir. Can I piece up the notes you wrote before he gets to read? In light of the evidence, in light of the evidence presented before you, I believe the playoffs there will not hear that Eric Lamar is without a doubt guilty. So helpful, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Coop. He puts the paper over and begins to read again. I'm nothing more than doing his duty. Okay, it's slightly better. It's not to be down again. Is it too late to just plead insanity? Well, before we can, the execution? So we hear the red case for the prosecution. Wait! Oh, God, what now? 
Your Honor, wait, please. I prove everyone is innocent. Well, we're paid by the hour, so go ahead. <laughs> what? You're not, if you're in the military, you're not paid by the hour. You're paid by the day. Whether that mean 12 hours or 24 hours, you're paid by the day. Your Honor, I found a piece of paper in everyone's house last night. Right here, it shows his orders were to attend his school, not take school, as you'd have us believe. To me, his orders are mixed up. Duh. I can just think of them. Well, recruit, I believe that means you are fr I am recruit. What were you doing with one of these tanks in your house? Um, sorry, just not the time. You. There were some things that had to be done, Sergeant, and things that had to be done were done in an orderly fashion to help me today in order to save my life. So if it hadn't been done, I would have been screwed even further. Um, I think I'm thinking of something earlier. I can't tell yet. I'm not sure. So. That's a tent, maggot. You see, it's not what it looks like. We were peeling potatoes and everything. Then we got so dirty that we had to clean up. But it was late, so she stayed. I've heard enough. Regret Lamar. I hear we dismissed the charge of desertion. Hallelujah. But in light of the standing and dare say disgusting realization, I sentence you to be stripped of re-rank, sent to a penal battalion on the eastern front of the, for the crime of fortification with a military vehicle worth in excess of 50,000 rights marks. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I can't, no, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? The crime of fortification with a military vehicle. Oh, the military can screw you in so many ways, but definitely, uh, that's one of them. <laughs> you did what, with how much money? Ah, you're first Okay, good. Yeah, that's that's great. Case adjourned. Slams the gavel down. You gotta be kidding me. That's one way to end this thing. The war against the playing girls went on for many more years. I didn't know we were at war. Everyone distinguished himself time and time again in the war. But you rising to lead his penal battalion as a non commissioned officer. What? During the battle for Erlen Bay, he sustained a mortal wound, but he died doing what he loved, riding tanks. Lieutenant Kennedy Sergeant Hartman went on to become an actor and starred in the cult classic Partially Metal Jacket and a collection of insurance commercials. Oh my god. Pads were foreign politics before a part was probably disbanded after attempting a coup. Tiger One became a museum curator and lives in England now. T-34 still lives out her glory days as the choice affordable vehicle of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. So I chose the girl who left Russia and went to North Korea. That's what, oh jeez. And for sure we returned to the United States where she ate King Donald's every day for the rest of her life. Nice too. Well, we won't talk about her. Good. Up to mighty London came an Irish man one day. As the streets are paved with gold, everyone was gay. Singing songs of Piccadilly, Strand and Leicester Square. What? Still Paddy got excited. Then he shouted to them there. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. To the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly. 